People without power on Signal Mountain had to get creative. Take a look at this. One homeowner had to use his cars to charge his cell phones to talk to family as well as insurance agents. Homeowners on Dawn Street experienced some of the worst damage in our area from Monday storms. High winds from what was Hurricane Irma uprooted trees and brought down power lines. I could hear the power lines doing some burn sensations or some kind of noise. Uh, they were trying to trip back on and, uh, and uh, so I knew we were not going to have power for a long time when I heard those sounds. Paul Schoen's property, where he's lived his whole life, was spared, but his neighbors wasn't. This large tree stretching across the road blocked drivers from getting through. Up the street, crews worked to remove trees from this home and other properties nearby, giving linemen room to restore power. With more than 300 locations needing extensive work, EPB officials say power probably won't be restored until sometime tonight, leaving shown to figure out alternative plans until it's fixed. I'm timing my refrigerator how many times I can open the door and I have not opened it yet. So I'm going to try to get my milk and granola and then I'm leaving. I'm going to drink all the milk and then it'll be gone. <laughs> Well, the chances for higher winds are done for now, but chances of rain are still in the forecast through Wednesday. Reporting on Signal Mountain, I'm Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.